What's up guys, Brad here. We are back once again with the Diablo inspired prototype. So, a couple things have changed. Um, I can't remember everything off the top of my head, so I'm just gonna go along and if I think of something, I'll tell you. Uh, so, since the last one in here, we've actually removed the buttons that you have to press um, for the hand equip on. I think this might be something to get rid of as well um but like when you select it you have to actually select the arm now which i think is uh definitely better so i like that idea um but let's go here we're gonna go through and we'll talk about some changes afterwards damage negated i can't remember if that was in or not before that just tells you uh the calculation for the defense because it's like two defense gets one damage uh, we got a basic weapon here. Skills. Uh, this has changed. Pick an ability, one pick left. This is because you can get two levels in a single run if you have enough experience gain and uh, when you kill a boss and whatnot. So um, we'll, we're, we'll try to do that. Uh, let's go tank up. Why not? So... We're going with tank up. Let's try to pump up this. Do we want to? Oh, oh, this is another thing. So every level also gives you one point in each one of these uh, attributes as well for every class. And this is to help with maybe like the build diversity and uh, strengthening your character up as well. Because before it was just giving you plus two health. And I was like, well, I want to make it unique for each character, like something more powerful for everybody. And vitality gives two health. Um, one point in there, so it's like okay. Well, it also gives you know, it makes you that closer to one attack damage. Um, you could, can possibly just gain like one more speed, goes on and on from there. Um, I like the idea of it. Let's do like three points here and two points here. All right, so I am looking to see, I have a break point in my um loot generation if i hit a block percent um for a shield so we're on the lookout for that just to let you guys know here is um one of the newer fx's that's been added experience per kill so if you have this it's very expensive because it, it is powerful um and that's you know gives you plus one experience the experience gain also has been changed so it used to be 12 and then it would be 15 and then it would be 18 you just want to buy three each time you level up and you would never exceed it it was always a multi like a multiple of three that would be here or zero um so i changed this because i wanted it to be dynamic and there to be a chance for you to level up now all of the enemies give three experience other than the bosses but still i think it's neat if you can have it where you can get a double level um, and we don't want any of those. We did just roll a block, I think. So, um, oh no, we didn't roll a block. We rolled dodge, but we can't get dodge because dodge is a, uh, rogue only skill. And now we're, I'm trying to see what we roll here. We rolled life per kill, but we should see actually just undo that oh we did get block here we go five percent that's good so the second one we got life for killing them block um that is good actually and you know what life per kill is pretty good uh life per kill is also very straightforward so one life per kill is just one health makes sense right that's how much you get from killing an enemy and there we go let's go back to town go down the dungeon There's our giant boy. <clears throat> Armored zombie. Boom. Experience per kill. Here we go. That's awesome. So now, another life per kill. Two handed, two damage, one gold. It's not really that great because we got two. We're doing two damage right now. I had a weird bug where this was coming up as like 12 and 6% and you know 
basically not multiples of five because it should only be multiples of five and i think there's a cap now as well on shields of like either 25 or 30 percent so something uh interesting to look at as well i think life per kill is really good for us right now uh, we got the experience life per kill stuff so um we should be able to so obviously we're going to as long as we don't okay whew. um we're we're actually a little a little afraid right you know so yeah two okay we're totally golden um he's going to steal our gold though and i gotta make sure this works so we're at 24 we should not be above 24. should not be above 24. i have seen it where it's messed up before so that's why i'm saying that perfect strike will take um same thing let's just do like three and two We gained the gold still. So uh, we'll do. Gotta write that down. Treasure Goblin. Remove gold. Not working. Alright. <clears throat> We're going against the Lost Queen. Um. 10% chance to block, which is pretty nice. 10% chance. That rolled the exact same. Experience per kill. You know? Take it. Let's take it because we're negating 4 damage. Our speed is trash. Our health is trash. We don't have a prayer right now. But. Living a dream. Oh my gosh. This is not good. No! <laughs> Alright. The animation is fixed though. So that's good. Um, let's do this again. That's the nice thing. When I do these runs, though, it's nice when I'm like, okay, perfect. It's working. Like, some things are working correctly. Oh, I found a little bug. That treasure goblin bug is not huge. Experience per kill is awesome. Uh, we're taking perfect strike again. And this time... So, I think the reason why we ended up dying is because we didn't have anything in HP. Um, HP is just, like, so powerful. Experience per kill again. You know what? Actually, we're just gonna roll. Oh, we got poison. That's really bad. It's really bad. Like extremely bad. Any healed? Oh boy, we're in a lot of trouble right now. We gotta. Oh boy. This is really bad. Oh my god. It did more damage than it was supposed to, too. It might have rounded up by one. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. So this is here also. Um, if you... Every once in a while, there would be the bug where the life per kill um there'd be that bug where the skills just wouldn't appear so i just put it in there in case you could, like were had like some insane run and you didn't want to just completely abandon it we'll just look quick nope all right once again i'm gonna bank the gold or health screw you kaboom Armored zombie. Boom. One had a dagger. We'll just throw that on. 45 gold. Oof. Pretty good. A lot of life per kill. I want to double check something. There. Okay. That is why this stuff is. Uh, okay. It should be fixed. So. The reason we're seeing a lot of life for kill and experience for kill and whatnot is because I was testing them. 
And the only things that could roll were gold block, life per kill, experience per kill, and dodge. I was, I was testing some things, and I didn't have the other uh, FXs on. So we should start seeing the rest of them. Um, wow, four gold armor. Yes, please. And a three gold. This is kind of nutty. We're going to take that. Because we're going to have a ton of gold. Now we just got to pray that we uh, don't die. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Crit. Oh, we got the crit. All right. I got really excited. <laughs> uh, I got really excited. Um, I can shield block. Pump up some defense. We got some insane gold right now for this level. Uh, four damage and experience per kill isn't bad, but I'd almost rather go with like a one-handed two damage. We need a helmet and boots. Two defense, three crit. Sure. And two crit. Why not? Alright. We're gonna get slapped around a little bit. But we should be okay. Oh boy. Maybe not. Oh my gosh. Guys. We're literally dead. We fucking died. <laughs> We got so much freaking poison. This damn game, man. Oh, we blocked it. I forgot we got block chance. We're OP. We're just OP. All right, let's take bulk up. All right, we got to heal because obviously, you know. Um. Poisoned. Okay. Um, this is ten health. That is ten health. I do like ten health. Hmm. That's another ten health. But we kind of desperately need damage. We need a one-hander with some good damage. 15 block. Uh, kind of crazy as well. <clears throat> that means that we could roll a one-hander with three damage, I think. I just saw that. Six. One arrow with two damage. Oh. God, we're we're really really kind of struggling right now. Please. There we go. I would like I literally was gonna be like I'll take a white one. Just anything. Alright, we're just gonna use that as fast as possible. Now we gotta also use this again as fast as possible. Alright, we're just gonna Hang some hits. And smash the spider. We've got a heal. Good defense, one life per kill. Good defense, two life per kill. Not horrible. I'll take it. Six damage, one life per kill. I like our health. And I would take this, but I'm not going with luck right now. Oh, that's real bad. I get 20% more. This is going to be a rough one. 
for the level at least. Four defense, one experience per kill. Uh, I don't think we can get rid of 10 health. 10 health is a little too much. I wish I had... Mm, honestly, I could go with Frenzy instead and go the full passive lineup. We... We get it. All right. Dang. All right. We need to pump up that defense. Ten percent block. Seven to crits. Three damage, three crit. I don't think three crits worth 18 gold. Two damage with three defense on boots. We'll take it. All right, please, something. Four defense, thorns. Uh, thorns doesn't matter, but we'll take it. This is at least a little bit better. All right, we're gonna save this. Ooh, we got the crit. Do that. Boom. Um. I mean, funny enough, we're still gonna keep our gold. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter, I guess. The elementalist. Okay, this is 10. I think that that's literally what we're doing. It's 10 health and extra two defense. We're negating seven damage. He's dealing 15. We're doing 39 in one shot. We got him. Two defense and seven dex is not that great. And then we take the tank up. Yeah. This is good. Oh my god, do you see that? That's a juicy upgrade right there. Yep, I think this is what I like. 20 gold. This is the frenzy build. Now if we can get the life per kill, then we kind of have like a pseudo... Um, ooh, high damage. We have a pseudo bloodlust also, like a crappier bloodlust. High defense, one experience per kill. Ooh, 25% chance to block. I think that's the max. I'm going to actually check. Because, you know, when you make the game, you can do that stuff. <laughs> do, 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 do. Where is it? Yep, 25% chance is the max. So that is an insane shield. Five defense and 25% chance to block. We'll take it. Um, <clears throat> we're almost at the max for block. So we'd have to find a unique with either shield lock or... Which even then you're not getting it. You gotta run the dual shield build. Which is what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be a little harder. Like right now, if we wanted to, we could do it. But I like the sword and board right now. And four defense, three damage. You know what? For it's one and one upgrade. And uh, we'll go to 13 damage negated. So why not? Why not? And now we're just spamming Frenzy. Just spam. Oh my gosh. That was a lot of damage. We're in a little bit of trouble. Please. Okay. 
Okay, keep our current stuff. Bump up. Oh yeah, we can actually get our block up from endurance as well. I literally forgot my own game mechanics. Um, uh, twenty-seven gold only. I will roll till we're at uh eighteen. One-handed with six damage. Good enough. Good enough upgrade for me. Twenty. Boom. Boom. Technically, that was a bug too. We shouldn't have been able to attack while the guy's animation was still going. Um, I think we're fine actually with current build. I don't think we really need too much more. Hmm, 11 endurance is kind of nutty. That'll boost up our block as well. I probably like, I think it's every two points gives us one block. Is that 45? Or it's either four points or two points, I can't remember. I think that was... I don't know what the hell it was. I can't remember what it was already. <laughs> Experience per kill. Crit. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Please stop. I'm not taking any damage though, so... Oh my gosh! Defense is 31. We're not negating uh, his damage enough, that's for sure. The Thorn's death is what's making it up reappear. That's what's doing it. The Defiler. Alright, Defiler. Five defense, eight strength. Yep. And you know our helm, we could we could definitely do with a new helm. Eight endurance, and that would technically give us more defense. We should be thirty-three, thirty-four. Yeah. So and our blocks at forty-six now. I like that. We we'll probably come up with something new with him. Not really anything special, he's just a tanky dude. Two handed. Nope. Nope. 48. Oh my gosh, we could literally go to. We could go for a max block, why not? Max block with a. The. Nerfed block. Is my. My dream right now. So we can get a one, we're using a white freaking one-hander also. So if we can get endurance on a weapon, that would do it. Or even on a, we're looking for strength or endurance right now, I'd say. <clears throat> Ooh, seven damage and five vitality. So that's just giving us 10 more health. That's a good, good upgrade. Six defense, six strength isn't worth it. Seven defense, five strength. Come on. Ooh. I mean, I think and damage weapon for one-handers is, uh, I think, worth it. I think it's worth it. Uh oh. Boom! Well, we did level up. So. <laughs> Easy. And crit. That's pretty nice. Bloodlust, ooh. But 
I do like what we have right now. 50. There we go. We're done. We are done with block. How many points is it, did I say? It's three points. It's three points into endurance. Gives you one block. All right, we're done with blocks, so now we're just looking for strength and damage stuff. For chest, at least. <laughs> hmm. Basically just looking for a chest armor. I would take a lot of vitality as well. Thirteen endurance with eight damage and a one-hander. Oh my god! <clears throat> I wouldn't have invested my points into it if I knew I was gonna roll something like that. Four experience per kill. Oof. We're gonna reduce our block down a little bit, but oh my gosh! I'll take three percent less chance to block for that. This is bad. Being slowed is like some of the worst stuff you can have done. And then on top of that, having Frostbite hit you. You just get a level though. Drop that. Keep our current stuff. Um. <laughs> Alright, now we're at 49. Still looking for that chest armor. A defense, four strength. Hmm. Please. Ah. <sighs> We also go to, uh, wow. I mean, it's one more damage. 18. Nope. All right. So this is the last run, and then we got to replace that helmet as well. So we got to replace a few things here. My frenzy build. I just gotta hope my block is enough. Why? What is going on here? Oh my god. My damage negated is so large that it's overlapping. It, it like went down because of the... Um, it wraps. So I can actually fix that. That's a little visual bug buggeroo. Thankfully it's not too bad. Literally just, uh, two. That should fix it. Perfect. All right, sorry about that. To see it fixed on the fly. All right, that's just a straight up upgrade. One defense more. All right, pork chop. It's time. I'm hoping the next update will have the final boss and we'll have the full game rolling. Um. All right. Desperately need a better helmet. Hmm. Seven defense and six strength is the helmet I'm looking for. And now, I haven't found a chest armor, like, at all. Nine defense, five, nine, five thorns, sure. That's, that's it. This is the, this is the build here. So, we should have no problem here. So, he, oof. 
Um, I mean, we're negating 24 damage, so we don't have much to really worry about. But he's gonna heal. Um, heal for 10. Bam. And there we go. That is uh, one victory. So I'm gonna actually take a little screenshot of for myself because I am keeping a little log for myself um, just for like as I'm seeing the game kind of progress. So I also have to add in a lot of things to this screen as well. So it's gonna be interesting because it like I'm kind of running out of space already as is. But let's do one more run for uh for our sakes. And then I gotta go to bed. We're gonna take bash. My favorite is two and three. That's my favorite um, way to start the game out. Um, sure. Got the giant spider. The giant. Boom, whatever. Looks good. Ooh, the crit. This is gonna suck. Crit, thank you. Wow. Got a lot of crits in a row. Okay, sure, whatever. We'll take a uh, big war cry, whatever. I'm gonna pump up. So this is one thing that's a little annoying on this screen. It should just show you your stats normally, but it's affected by whatever status effect you have. So um, a tad annoying. Right, Wasp Queen. Definitely need something better. We're going to get destroyed. Mm. Well, one life per kill does nothing for a boss. This is actually pretty decent. I should have, uh, hopefully. Yeah. Wow. We crit? <laughs> you know what? Put on that one. Um, we're not going to do our usual stun. The stun is too powerful. We, we can't do it. Take Hammer of the Gods. Honestly, a lot of these we really deal with a lot. Um, let's go bulk up. Just do it. Word of Vitality. You know what? Let's gamble. Boom. Nope. Eh, that is an upgrade. See how gambling does. Two experience per kill. Ooh, baby. What are we at? 15? So that should give us a level after the first guy, so we don't need to heal. Wait, right, we're gonna we're doing gambling. Three defense, nope. And two defense, nope. Yeah. Alright, boom. There's a level for us. 
God, the stun is just so powerful. Seven gold. Honestly, I think that's worth more than one. So I'll take it. And perfect strike with this little build is kind of nasty. What's our thing at? So two enemies. Oh, so we got a heal. Shady dealer. Nope. Ooh. Oh, 12 health and 4 defense versus 2 extra experience. We gotta take it. It'd be lovely to uh, keep doing what we're doing, but... Experience gain train's gotta stop. Bam. Oh! Three defense, eight endurance, and bulk up. This is this is the build. So bulk up is our increased strength, which we have already as a passive. So our strength is increased by 66% because of this. So let's go. And eight endurance. That's like actually nutty. Um and now we have the doubles, so we could do the war cry double swing bash if we want, or the actually what we're gonna do is war cry, double swing, perfect strike. That this is, this is insane. So now we're pumping everything into here because strength increased by sixty six percent, which is why it's forty eight already. Um, this is nutty. I don't even want to gamble anymore because. Our stuff is kind of so, so good. Um, because we didn't find anything, but I'm not too worried. Not too worried when you got this good stuff. Plus, we're finding this stuff from a, um, what we buy, so or uh, drop. So nope, nope, and nope. We'll see how long this ends up working. I think it's actually better to perfect strike with him. Buffed up. That's a good one. You can make it pretty far just based on stun. So stun is kinda too insane. But I don't know. I like it. I don't know if that's working right. Wasn't this higher? Am I wrong? I'll have to check the tapes. Nope. Uh... Oh god. I mean, the gold is what we're using to gamble, but not really doing too great with gambling. So we're doing double shield right now, I guess. <laughs> Didn't even realize that. God. Not good. And our defense is 23? Holy crap. Kinda surprising. Good he didn't dodge. Oh my gosh! That's another. Oh. Also, I love the name of this bulky tanky tower shield. Havel's tanky scimitar. Uh, yes, please. Six damage, five endurance, and tank up. This is an insane run. Ten to speed. One. It's not good enough. This is actually insane. Boom. One shot him. Six defense, eight speed is, I would say, better than five decks. Um, because speed's really the most important one. Um, 
Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's funny because we're not even worried about defense. Like, we're just getting defense from our stuff. Uh, our gear. If we could get this with high defense or endurance. Honestly, I think it's kind of better. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. 63 damage. <laughs> Unblocked, by the way, too. What? <laughs> what? Yo. Okay, I don't even know what to do right now. So we have 99% increased strength. Which means I think it's every point in the strength should give us roughly, yeah. I think it should give us basically one. Um, but the thing is, every point... Yeah, I don't know how it works. Ah, I'm very confused as to what's going on right now. So right now, the only thing we need is a helmet and boots. This is the most insane gambler run I've ever done. And I haven't gambled a single item, basically. Watch, we'll end up losing to some dumb, dumb stuff. Um, we're gonna just double swing. We can stun you. Yo. What is going on? What is actually going on? And the thing is, this doesn't even help us. This is actually just worse. Jamie's agile studded boots. Like, do I just take this to flex on people? Like, yo, I just, uh... Got an all unique run here. I mean, it's minus one defense. We'll do it. We'll flex. If I find something better, I'll swap it out. Okay. This is good. Just insane. Okay. Keep the current stuff just all on the strength. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. This is just actually stupid. It's just stupid. Look at that damage. Alright, this is the final the final run. Oh my gosh. Almost one we just one shot him. That's in that's actually the stupidest build I've ever seen. So, I'm glad I recorded that. Alright. That was no, like, I nothing has changed on the back end to help for unique drops. That's just, like, in the game. So, and I didn't have anything with luck. There's zero luck in my build. So, I don't know what happened. But, anyways, take care. I will see you in the next update.